Exactly one year after 17-year-old Donald D.J. Miller Jr. was found murdered, his family gathers at his gravesite. All the family members try to get together and try to put everything together and try to figure out what happened. Miller disappeared February 2nd, 2008. His family says the teenager was last seen that afternoon with a friend near his home. When he didn't come home that night, Miller's family called police, then searched for the teenager on their own. All the family members got together and we went out in the woods looking for him. Five days after his mother reported him missing, police issued a city watch listing Miller as an endangered runaway. <laughs> Two days later, on February 9th, neighborhood children found Miller's body in the woods off Warbonnet Road. Donald Miller identified his son's remains. The feeling you get is unbelievable. And then, you know, he photo him with some friends and stuff, and they won't talk to you. And I, basically, it's just bone crushing. It's just, I don't I, I ain't got the word for it. An autopsy report shows Miller was shot six times in the head. Both small and medium caliber bullets were recovered from his body, indicating more than one gun was used. I'm thinking it's game related. No, I didn't want to think it at first, but I'm thinking it's game related. Now, was he trying to join it? He wasn't beat up. Or yes, somebody shot him. They shot him in the head. No, why? I don't know. Memphis police insist the case is active, but declined to comment on the progress of the investigation or if the shooting was gang related. On the anniversary of his death, Miller's brother talks with him at the cemetery. His mother is still so upset she can't talk about the loss, and the family says they're not any closer to getting closure. I'm constantly asking questions. I'm constantly looking. I'm constantly talking to people. I'm not going to quit looking for his murderer until the day I die.